Hi, I'm Dr. Sean McGinnis, an optometrist at Island Eye Care at Sydney, Nova Scotia. I'm a 2007 grad from the University of Waterloo, where I received my optometry degree, and I've been in private practice ever since. In 2015, I started on my dry eye journey with an increased passion for dry eye disease, treatments, and therapies. That's what brought me here today and to talk to you about a clinical study I've done in collaboration with IMED Pharma. We wanted to look at, at patients to see what improvement we could make with our standard at-home treatments. So think of your uh, heating mask, omega-3, eye drops, uh, and lid wipes. And then see what further improvement we could make uh, with the IRPL treatments with the eye device. Uh, so our patients came in at, at day zero. With the help of IMED, we were able to send them home with an eye relief mask, IV omega-3, eye drop MGD, as well as lid and lash plus. We followed up at day 30, where we did our first EI treatment. Two weeks later, we did our second EI treatment. A month later, we did our third EI treatment. And a month after that, we did our final wrap-up. Um, our patients, uh, starting out, we had an average tear breakup time of 4.6 seconds. Our OSDI was starting at 38. My Bowman gland score starting at 11. And we had about 36% loss of meibomian glands. Let's take a look at some of those results. Uh, and so first off, we'll look at the non-invasive tear breakup time. In this case, we looked at the worst eye starting and then followed that up uh, at each subsequent visit. And so when we look at our at-home treatment, our home therapies, uh, we did see an improvement of about 50% in, in that breakup time. Unfortunately, it was not statistically significant. So as we get more patients in the study, hopefully that will improve. Uh, but if we look at what the eye was able to do, we're getting about a 75% increase in that tear breakup time um, over 8 seconds. And if we think of 10 seconds at our benchmark for a normal breakup time, uh, we're well on our way to improvement there. And I think with the mechanism of action of the EI, where we're able to decrease inflammation and improve the output from the meibomian glands, that's where we see this increase in non-invasive tear breakup time. And if we look at the meibomian gland score, we can back this up. So first off, with our at-home therapies, um, up to day 30, uh, we can see a statistically significant improvement in the meibomian gland score. So we can improve that quality and quantity coming out of those glands. Um, but if we turn our attention to the EI, we will see a doubling of that meibomian gland score, which is fantastic, uh, which really backs up that, that improvement in that, say that quality and quantity, which was great to see. We also looked at our, our OSDI, uh, and in this case with our at-home therapies, we saw about a 5% improvement um, in that OSDI, which was not significant. But if we look at uh, day 30, where we started our, o, our EI treatments to day 105, we're able to see over a 30% improvement in that OSDI, which was significant. So it's great to see that we can um, improve the, the signs and symptoms with, with EI therapy. Uh, of interesting note, we also looked at mybography, and, and a recent study looked at tea tree oil and how it could kill some meibomian gland cells. And in this case, we were treating our patients with Lid and Lash Plus for the duration of the study, or 105 days, and it does contain tea tree oil. When we compared our mybography images from day 0 to day 105, we actually did not have a decrease in, in the gland loss, uh, if anything, a, a small increase. Now, this could be because of EI treatment um, improving things. Uh, we know mybography, there's some variability in there, uh, but definitely some food for thought. Uh, so, uh, as we look at the overall study and conclusion, our at-home therapy, we're able to see a significant improvement in my meibomian gland score, a numerical improvement in the tear breakup time. Uh, OSDI, that one didn't come along just yet, but hopefully with more patients, we'll see an improvement there. Um, and this is really the first uh, proof of efficacy uh, of the iMed products and how they can improve things at home. So that was uh, good to see we can, can improve some of those uh, signs along the way. When we look at the EI device, um, we had some great improvements here. So a uh, large improvement in, in tear breakup time, a doubling of the meibomian gland score, greater than 30% decrease in that OSDI. So again, the signs and symptoms improving with that treatment from EI, which I really think comes back to that mechanism of action where we can decrease that inflammation, 
We can improve some of that myeloma out of the glands with a little bit of heat. But we also get that stimulation of the parasympathetic nerve and the trigeminal um, to increase uh, the function of those meibomian glands and, and improve dry eye disease. Uh, so some interesting results uh, from the study here and hope everybody enjoys and take care.